ever asked yourself why so many uh, school teachers are always poor? They teach others about how to be wealthy, rich, but then at the end of the day, themselves, they remain to be there. It is because uh, the world that we're living in does not really teach people on how to survive outside the classwork. They only teach people on how to be good employees, and that's why your teacher, no matter how much he has taught you till you've gotten your PhD, your master's, your degree, he remains to be the same old person that he has always been. Why? Because um, himself, he only studied so that he can, be, uh, he can get a job. He didn't really study on how to do and become a business person. For, his, for example, I see teachers who teach uh, business education on how how to be entrepreneurs, how to be able to create money, wealth, and all those kind of things. But they themselves, they are poor as a church mouse. And then you keep on asking yourself, well, how comes, even after teaching people how to be entrepreneurs, how to be build businesses and things like that, but they themselves, they know nothing about it. It is because they have started to be uh, employees, but not to be entrepreneurs themselves. They are basically just learning uh, employment and this is why the most of the people who escape from this matrix of uh, employment they end up being wealthy and they end up being uh, people who have understood how things work remember the Bible says that uh, God shall bless the work of your hands but is not God shall bless your employment remember that God wants us to create businesses. God wants us to be able to uh, do our own thing. It doesn't matter if you're selling uh, fries at the, at the roadside. It doesn't matter if you're selling fish or you're doing whatever kind of a thing. But establish some type of work. And that is exactly what God is going to bless. And likewise, also understand how money works. There are so many topics which are not taught in school today because... Uh, it's just exactly how life is and that's why you can see there are so many graduates today who are uh, don't know what to do people who have learned how to trade but then they learned just how to trade in someone else's business <laughs> so they're looking for jobs yet they can create their own you see that's where the problem is and once you understand this uh, this idea and uh, you understand that uh, education is just the only type of education which is important is just to know how to speak good English or good uh, whatever language that you use in your country and to know how to do uh, you know how to do calculations whenever you make a sale and the other thing is just understand people's skills understand how people to interact with people and so forth now they all the other education is baseless and useless and um, you know learning what's the longest river in Africa who was this and that all those things they don't amount to anything i remember we used to write very nice compositions in class and all that you know and uh, write good poems now where do we use them now in real life <laughs> or maybe when we used to be told uh, how to dissect a grasshopper and uh, you know head thorax abdomen all those things don't make sense they're just wasting your time so the most important thing that you can learn today is how to become an entrepreneur and how to apply the same skills that you're learning to your own work so my friends, what I will encourage you today, just look at the lives of the people who are teaching you what they are teaching you and ask yourself, do I want to be like them? And if you don't want to be like your teacher, if you don't want to be like uh, the person trying to mentor you, then think outside the box. Wake up and ask yourself, what can I do differently? Because if I listen totally to this person, I'm just going to be like him. The most people that you should listen to are the people who have maybe reached to a goal that you want to be. Like let's say some entrepreneur telling you about how to create wealth, how to create business. It doesn't matter if he dropped out in class 1 or class 2. But he has the skills which are called people skills, personal skills, um, real life skills, street skills, street smart skills, you know, which can help you to be able to become the person that you want to be. So. Think about this my friends and stop complaining there is no work there's a lot of work out there in the world for people to do any problem you see is a type of work you see somewhere there is litter go and tell the person you know 
uh, at the shop, uh, you know, next to the litter, hey, can I do some cleaning for you? That's already a job. He'll pay you 200, 500, go to another and do the same. There's always a lot of work to do, but because people are blinded by employment, they will never resonate and they'll never think outside the box. So stop sending those CVs. Stop sharing your CVs is a waste of time. There are so many people working with CVs. Go and create your own work.